is Lady Gregory? Hi, my name is Megan. I'm an actor with Druid Theatre Company, working on a new project all about the amazing Galway writer Augusta Gregory, or Lady Gregory to give her her correct title. Don't worry if you've never heard of her before, because I'm about to take you on a journey through her wonderful home, Cool Park, to tell you all about her. So follow me. To start at the beginning, Augusta was born near Gort in Galway in 1852. That's 168 years ago. Her family lived at Roxburgh. They had a large house, which was useful because she had lots of brothers and sisters. Now, from an early age, Augusta loved to read. One day, Augusta was on a train with her family, minding her own business, probably reading, when she met their neighbor, William. They got talking, and when William found out how much Augusta loved books, he had a wonderful idea. He had a whole library at his house, so he invited Augusta to go to his home, Cool Park, where she could have the run of the entire library. Of course, she said yes. Augusta and William later got married, and Augusta got to move into her beloved Cool Park and use the library any time she wanted. She loved living at Cool Park, and why wouldn't she? As the name suggests, Cool Park wasn't only a house, but an entire park too. So Lady Gregory had the Knotwood, the Walled Garden, Cool Lake, and of course the library to explore whenever she wanted. This is the exact spot where the house used to be. How did she become a writer? Lady Gregory's love of reading quickly became a passion for writing. She began by writing about her childhood memories. Then she wanted to learn about the stories of the people around her, the people of Galway. She travelled all over Galway to hear the people's stories, even out to the Aran Islands. She found their stories fascinating, and so she began to collect their stories by writing them down. And guess what? You too could collect stories just like Lady Gregory. You could talk to the people that you know, listen to their stories and write them down. After hearing all these wonderful stories, Lady Gregory had really caught the writing bug. She wrote stories and poetry and, my favourite of all, plays. Lady Gregory was one of the people who set up Ireland's National Theatre, the Abbey Theatre in Dublin. She worked very hard to keep the theatre running. She even wrote lots of the plays that were performed on the Abbey stage. She wrote plays about lots of different things. People on the run, unicorns, dragons and even stolen sheep. How did she help other writers? Lady Gregory cared deeply about helping other writers, and so she invited them to come to Cool Park, and it quickly became a favourite writing spot for many of the most famous Irish writers. They would come to Cool Park to get ideas for their stories and to find a nice spot to write. Cool Park inspired lots of ideas for writing. Some of the writers were inspired by the tall trees in the Knotwood or by the lake. Others got their best ideas when they were enjoying the beautiful flowers in the walled garden. Can you think of a place that might help you to write your stories? Is there a spot that gives you lots of ideas? To remember the writers who came to Cool Park, Lady Gregory would get them to carve their initials of their names into one of her favourite trees. This tree has become known as the autograph tree. Some of the famous writers who signed the tree are Yeats, Singh, Shaw and Sean O'Casey. Oh, and it wasn't only writers who loved Cool Park. I need to tell you about Anne and New. Who were Anne and New? Anne and New were Lady Gregory's granddaughters. She loved them very much and she even wrote a play called The Dragon especially for them. They grew up with Lady Gregory in Cool Park. They loved their childhood in Cool Park. They spent their days climbing trees, collecting apples in the orchard, riding their ponies all around the park, exploring the nut wood with their dog Taddy, and getting up to all kinds of mischief. They even played games with the writers, although they were very upset after they caught George Bernard Shaw cheating at a game of Hunt the Thimble, after he felt so bad that he wrote a poem especially for Anne and New. Yeats was also inspired by Anne and New and wrote a poem called Yellow Hair about Anne's blonde hair. 
Why should we celebrate Lady Gregory? Lady Gregory played an important role in setting up and running Ireland's national theatre, the Abbey Theatre. She helped and inspired other Irish writers of her time. And most importantly, she was a brilliant writer of poems, stories and plays. Lady Gregory was a Galway woman whose writing celebrated the people of Galway. And so, don't you think it's about time we should celebrate Lady Gregory? And the best way to celebrate her is to follow her example and get writing our own stories. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm going to get started straight away. Now, where's my pencil? Oh, 